If you are using Salesforce integration for provisioning, you may have noticed that a recent update from the vendor requires OAuth consumer key and secret instead of the admin credentials, password, and token. In this video, we will show you how to enable provisioning for Salesforce using OAuth consumer key and secret. First, we will need to create an administrator account in Salesforce. It is highly recommended to generate a new Salesforce administrator account as utilizing an existing one may result in the breakdown of provisioning upon the account's deactivation. This account will be used to create the OAuth consumer key and consumer secret that will be used in the Salesforce REST integration. The guide for creating an administrator can be found in the description below. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be using a pre-existing Salesforce administrator account. Log into Salesforce and navigate to Setup. In the left-hand navigation menu, click on App Manager. Click on the New Connected App button. Enter the required information under the Basic Information section. Under the API, Enable Auth Settings section. Paste the callback URL found in the description below. Select the following options. Manage user data via APIs. Perform requests on your behalf at any time. Refresh token, offline access. Require secret for web server flow, enabled. Introspect all tokens, disabled. Configure ID token, disabled. Enable asset tokens, disabled. Enable single logout, disabled. Save your changes and wait for 2-10 minutes for the changes to take effect on the server before using the connected app. Once your changes are saved, navigate back to the connected app that you created. Under the API, Enable OAuth Settings section, you will find the consumer key and consumer secret. Copy these values as you will need them for enabling provisioning for Salesforce in Okta. Now all that remains is to pass the consumer key and secret to Okta. For that, navigate to the Salesforce app. Provisioning tab. Click on Enable API Integration. Paste the consumer key and secret copied before. Click Authenticate with Salesforce.com and log in with the admin mentioned at the beginning of the video. And click Save. That's it. You have successfully enabled provisioning for Salesforce using OAuth consumer key and secret. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please be sure to check the Okta support playlist.